And another thing. Yes, yeah, another thing. For those of us who are looking past the the point, looking past the message, not seeing the rhyme reason and what people are saying and think, oh, okay, this person is just talking, or these people are just talking, or this is coming up way too much as a subject. Maybe you need to check yourself. The familiarity in somebody criticizing and or speaking on a certain topic may have some relevance, and you may be missing the moral of the story. Why? Why else? Because it's sensitive to you. It may be applicable to you. And instead of you wanting to change it or seeing if there's anything that might relate to you, you'd rather take it as, okay, this person just bashing, this person just hating, this person just saying this, these people are just saying these things. You have to check yourself based on these things. If you're around these people or you care about these people or these are people you care about and it really matters that they're saying it, there could be some truth to it. You may have to bite the bullet, swallow your pride, eat a little crow, and find how this could better you because they're mentioning, they're mentioning it. They're mentioning it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what I'm saying. I tell you what the fuck I'm saying. It's you. It's you. Were you still on board with the fact that you know you still thought people were hating when they said the things they said about singer songstress Whitney Houston? Were you still on board with, you know, everything they said about Michael Jackson just being some kind of publicity stunt? I mean, were you one of the people that just did not want to buy into the fact that uh, everything going on in the Middle East during the Bush administration was just a hoax? Are you still one of those people who were still holding on to that was just some bullshit? You know, people were just hating. They just didn't want to, you know, go, with, go along with my guy. They were just against my guy. Why? Because he looked good? He was popular? He was handsome? No! Bitch, it was you! You're sensitive because you don't want to accept this is you that's falling in the category of what people are talking about. And that's too fucking bad. You know? And rather than people talking behind your back and then you want to fight them, they're saying it to your face and you won't accept it. Well, that's too fucking bad. You ain't going to get no bypass on that. You ain't going to get no pass on that. You need to check yourself. You need to get your shit in, get your shit in order. And respect the fact that somebody cared enough to say it to you. You might not like the way they said it, but the fact that they said it was like, I'm not overlooking that shit that everybody else is accepting. And I'm going to tell you about it. And I hope you change. And I hope you do something different. I hope you better yourself. Let them people love you. Let them people love you. Everybody won't. Most people don't. These people do. Let people love you. Let the people love you. Let it in. Let the love in. And accept how they're trying to give it to you. If they're hurting your feelings, that's even more reason to find out why. Why do they say these things? Oh, well, I don't know. Because it's fucking true. Maybe that's it. If you wake up, sir, and you come into your living room not making a noise, and you see your wife online looking at abs and balls.com, she has a fancy for abs and balls. Don't get mad at her. You chose not to work on yourself. You chose to eat whatever the fuck you want, as much as you fucking want, and you ain't got no fucking abs. And she likes them. What are you gonna do? <laughs> get mad at her? Pick out her shit? She can't help the fuck that she likes something that you just refuse to do anything about. You know? If you go through her phone and see that her browser at some point was on big arms and legs, and you know you walking around doing the chicken dance every day in your shorts? What the fuck you going to say? You can't say nothing. Work on your fucking legs. Or learn to fly. I don't know what the hell you want to do or what you want people to say in defense of what you refuse to do about self-improvement. What do you want? What do you want? You know? Come on. If there, if, if, if your man, ladies, is looking at fitness, fitness sites with exercises to improve a, for a better butt, more toned legs, more toned arms, and he has to close and slap down his laptop when he's looking at them instead of saying, hey, babe, look at this. Check this out. Well, <laughs> well, I think you know the point I'm trying to make. You're in denial at the fact that 
you know, he wouldn't mind if you improve these things. He's just not complaining about the fact that you have it. What do you want? What the fuck you want? You know what I mean? Suggestive measures of improvement are not necessarily criticism. Depend on who this person is and how much you know their, va their point is valuable to you. How much their opinion matters to you is the only reason why you should be taken into consideration. If it's somebody you don't know and you don't care about, hell, fuck them. Who asked you? I don't care if you like my ass or not. I don't care if you like the fact that I got skinny legs and big muscles. Who gives a shit? I don't know you. You ain't sleeping with me. You know, you don't pay my bills and you don't make me scream. So like, who gives a shit? But from your loved ones, people you love and care about, people who can sit down and have a meal or a drink with you are the people you might value the word of. So how often do you do that? Is how often you should value anything they say about you. Think about it that way. Think about it that way. You know? This could be something like a PSA, but it's more like an FYI. Consider it and use it how you feel necessary. 